Hey guys, Tammy here. And hey y'all, it's me, Carla. I got Carla with me. The McRib Queen. Y'all know who she is. Uh, McDonald's on Dorset. That's her. Okay? That's the one. And guess what? <clears throat> I ain't never had a McRib. I don't know how you went your whole life without a freaking McRib. I don't know. You know, like, we never got to experience luxuries like McDonald's, you know? So listen, I'm gonna try my first McRib with the Queen. All right? <clears throat> oh, and they got them on sale. Two for six dollars. How you doing? Good, how about you? Give us two McRibs. Uh, two McRibs. I'm a large Coke, honey. Two large Cokes. Is that it? Just a taste test? Taste test. You don't want to mix it with anything? Yeah, you don't want to. That'll do me. That'll do me. Uh huh. Thanks. You know those drive-throughs that have that has two lanes for cars? Mm -hmm. I always try to hurry up and beat the car oh, beside me. You know what I'm saying? I got in a fight with a woman one time who. Oh, I believe it. Didn't wait her turn. How you doing? Mm -hmm. it's gonna be there you go. Worth every penny. I hope. <laughs> I, I hear. We also got a couple questions we're gonna ask. Somebody asked if our cooters stink. We're gonna uh, uh, answer that here. Somebody, at, thank you. Somebody asked what our biggest sexual fantasy is. We're gonna uh, answer that. And there was another question that I can't remember what it was. It was a good one though. Um, but first, we're gonna taste test these McRibs. I'm nervous. I love uh, McRibs. Mm -hmm. Um, this is the first one I've had of this season. Mm. Every year they come out around this time. Okay, around the holidays, right? Around before. the holidays, and uh, this is the first one of this season I've okay. had. So I feel special. Hello, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Hey, it's my first time trying the McRib. Really? I'm nervous. I'm picky, so I don't try this. You don't like them? Well, it's not that I don't like them, it's just that I don't like Chinese food. So oh. I'm all about that. I try new foods on YouTube. I'm filming right now. Oh, really? Yep. Yep. When she said that, you should have said, excuse me. Why and then she can say, well, why didn't I think about that? Well, you know, I'm into the McRib and all that stuff. Into the McRib culture. Yeah. I'm, I want to get in it. You know, I want to get in on it. That Coke ain't good? Is that diet? Is this, is this diet or regular? Regular. Okay, a little funky, but it'll do me. You want me to make another one? Y'all got a different, different, this okay. We're good. Are you sure? Yeah. Thank you. We're good. Thank you right, for being so nice to us. Thanks. She's a nice girl. Too. She's real nice. Usually people in McDonald's are assholes. I'm going to say it. Well, you remember what happened to me and I won't. I do. Go ahead and talk about it if you want to talk. I just, I had gone in to get a sale McRib. And tried to get, you know, the extra one because you got an extra one for a dollar. And this gal looked me up and down and uh, <clears throat> she told me I didn't look like I needed an extra McRib. Inferring that I was uh, morbidly obese, super morbidly obese. Okay, first off, everybody needs an extra McRib. That's what that, I'm saying. That should be... Especially in these communities like I live in where I'm poor mm -hmm. if you can get that extra sandwich for one dollar that'll set you for the night you're set leftovers next day or something <sighs> all right I'm sorry to bring down the mood it, it's fine it's fine it happened to you I'm gonna link uh Carla's Instagram and uh YouTube's there's you a lot of people with hot rods a lot here. of people hot rod and it's pissing me off and it's mostly you know what it is it's men who are insecure and they got to they're and they're trying to fuck us. And it sometimes it works for me. I don't know about you. <laughs> it don't work for me. Really? Because I see right through it. Mm. But when, you know, when you're wanting some dick. Oh, that sweet, sweet box. Okay, first off, it smells amazing. Oh. Let, let's do a thumbnail. Okay. Should we open it and do a thumbnail? I gotta get that sweet, Whoa. sweet smell. Whoa! Whoa! 
Okay. Wow. Okay, first off, she's little. She's little. You need more than one. Yeah. This is almost like a sample size sandwich. Look at it compared to my hand. No. That's a little fucker. For size, look at it. And it's messy. I didn't think it'd be so messy. Well, that's the thing. You're going to you're gonna get some on your uh, Reba Brooks and Dunn oh, shirt. Oh, I wore my nice shirt. I wore my Tweety Bird dress shirt. Okay, first off, mm. she's got uh, a real soft bun on her. It's got like flex oh. or something. Oh, okay. Onions and pickles. Mm. Okay. Uh, honestly, the mess looks like the McDonald's workers didn't give a shit and they just slapped it together. So I hope it tastes good or I'm going to go back in there and raise hell. Well, that's the mixed ri McRibs, as the kids say, aesthetic. That's the aesthetic. That's normal? That's how it's supposed to look. It's supposed to get soft oh, everywhere. That's okay. how your shirt's going to look in a minute. I feel like I'm being educated on something that, you know, my parents should have taught me. Everybody should know all this. <sighs> okay. I'm, and you, you also want to notice that the patty itself has lines because oh. it's from the rib of a an animal. Oh, okay. That's why they call it the mac rib. Wow. So if you was to take a piece of meat from your rib, it would It'd have, have these lines. lines. It'd have lines. Okay, that's sm Wow. If you ever get one without lines, send it back. Say, this ain't a rib. Okay. I don't know what you put on here. Okay. It's a mick double or whatever. That's, I feel educated right now. Should I dive in? I'm ready to take the first bite with you at the same time. Okay, I was about to say, you want me to do it? You want to do it together? together. Oh, wow, she's messy. Holy. Okay. Fuck. You're going to get it all over your Holy shirt. Holy shit. Reba's going to be pissed. Okay. You ready? Mm. Fuck. Mm. That mm. sweet, sweet relief, you know. Mm. Mm. First one of the season. Mm. It tastes the same every freaking year. Woo! Every year. Okay, McRib. <laughs> okay, now I understand why you're so upset in your video. And they don't have them year round. They they take them away on purpose to make you want more. Mmm. They say distance makes the heart grow fonder. And it does. You know, when Daryl's in jail, I love him even more, you know? Like, because you miss him. Mmm. -hmm. Essential part of this whole thing is a napkin. You gotta get yourself a good napkin. It's, it's, it's messy. And here's the thing, the sauce is sweet. It's like a sweet barbecue sauce, like a like a mm -hmm. KC or a Memphis barbecue yeah. sauce. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they got these fresh onions. Here we go. Mm, damn. Mmm. 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 Mm. Did you get mm. a pickle yet? Mm-hmm. Mm. Sometimes they'll try to give you one that's real dry. Mm -mm. Send it back. Uh uh. Send it back. I'm all about sending shit back. I get off to it. Put some more sauce on it. You mm. know. You know what? Mm, damn. It wouldn't be as good without those onions and pickles. Nope. This is special formula. Back but, in, back mm. in the day, they did like a study. Uh huh. I was about to say. To see who. What's best on it? What you know, works? They tried lettuce on it. That didn't work. No. They tried like a, like a, a mushroom. That didn't work. No, no. The McRib patty, onions, and pickles, is the, is it? Okay. Damn. Hey, get down! I told you to stay down. I got somebody in the back. I didn't want them to ruin my mukbang, so I said, "Get back down and stay down." I just saw a hand. Anyway. Mmm. Mmm. Well, you scared the shit out of me. I'm sorry, Carla. <laughs> I'm sitting here. I was having, like I was in Vietnam, <laughs> remembering Charlene yelling at me saying, you don't need X McRib. You don't need him. And it's going around in my head, you know. Next thing you know, I'm, I'm diving into the trenches thinking there's a. I'm sorry. Attack. Mm. 
Mmm. Mmm. Would you say this is your favorite thing at McDonald's? Oh, 100%. No doubt about it. Okay. Let's answer a couple questions. Okay. Um, I put an Instagram question thing up. Mm -hmm. And we had a lot of questions. And the number one question was, Tammy, Carla, do your cooters stink? And I thought that's a great question. People ask me that all the time. I'm happy to get it get it off my chest and, you know, let everybody know that's been wondering. So you want to go first or? I'll go. Okay. This is, the, this is kind of my thing. They always say, like, beauty is in the eye of the beholder or whatever that mm -hmm. means. My co cooter, sometimes I call it cooch, is an acquired taste or smell. Mm. Mm -hmm. My husband, Ronnie, often says it smells like onions mixed with tuna and some other things. Mm -hmm. He likes it. Boyfriend I had in high school couldn't stand it. So it's an acquired taste. If you like seafood, if you like a, a, an oniony based soup, you're going to love my cooter. Now, as far as smelling it, I think about one to two feet for me is the range. Yeah. I don't smell it anymore because I'm used to it. But when I first met you, I did smell it for sure. You know? You know I'm coming. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, who's... who's yeah. The, oh, it's Carla. Carla. She comes. Carla. Um, what about you? Yeah, mine fucking stinks. I, I'm not going to lie. Um, you know, I use Dawn dish soap on it, and that really, mm. really, really gets it clean. And when I'm out of the shower, you know, I'll feel, I'll, I'll smell fresh and clean for about 12 minutes. Oh. And, and about that 12-minute mark, it just goes back to the way it was before. Um, you know, I don't try to change it. I guess that's just my natural, you know, why, it's like, you know, why would I change my hair? You know, why would I change right. my, you know, the, why would I get lip injections? That's just the way I am. That's your scent. Yeah. That's your scent. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, it fucking stinks. So, <laughs> that answers your question. And the other question was, what's your biggest sexual fantasy? Oh, damn. I'm going to let you go first. Mm. I got a couple, but I think my first one, mm. my main one, is to go, like, like in a recording studio where a band goes, and I show up, and all five members of New Kids on the Block are there, mm. naked, wearing bow ties, just naked with bow ties. Wow. And then they say, you know, hey, Carla, we know you're a big fan. Let us touch your air body. Or, Cooter. You know, I don't want to say all the bad words. Mm -hmm. And then I just start making out like a train with them. Just making. Just, mm -hmm. Carla, you going to make my pussy throb right now. <laughs> that sounds great. That so sounds wonderful. That's mine. Okay. That it ends great. with with me being with all of them. Wow. Wow. Um. Mine's probably two black dudes at once. Wow. Double pin. Damn. I mean, I'm simple. You know, I'm simple. Keep it simple. That's yeah. what they say, you yeah. know. Um, wow. So, yeah. Hey, guys, listen. McRib gets my approval. It gets my approval. That... <clears throat> it, it does. I'm getting... Uh, it does. Getting <clears throat> choked up. Yeah. So, I'll be back for another or two, This you know? is the final uh, thing in our friendship. Yeah. Because if you said you didn't like it, I would have opened this door and walked out forever and never looked back. Well, you know what? We've shared a dick, and it's about time we shared a McRib. It's about time. What are we waiting on, you know? That's friendship. That's friendship. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, McRib was good. Uh, Carla's pussy... You know, stinks, but friends stick around. You know, they, you don't worry about that. You know what I mean? It don't matter, okay? Mine does too. Okay? Uh, go ahead and like and subscribe and comment and fo follow Carla and all that, okay? All right. Bye. Bye. -bye.